Welcome. This is a follow-up to the Death Star entering our solar system video. Many people have critiqued this video and did not know this leaked portion, a high def portion, actually existed. This is a video sequence and you can notice the date and the time on the bottom. This is high definition with low aperture. That's why it's so dark in the surroundings. This allows us to see more detail in the bright objects. From this point on in this video, you are not allowed to see a second flash from this satellite. NASA cut it off. You will see the second flash here and you will be alarmed and astonished. What you see, and as has been described before, is a CME, a coronal mass ejection, or a solar flare emanating from what's supposed to be a planet. This artifact that you see growing before your eyes has been described as an artifact. However, it does not lose luminosity, it actually gains and reflects the luminosity of the star. This tells you that the material is solid material and reflecting light back to the camera. So it can't be a lens flare. A lens flare would scatter the rays and become less luminosity. Even Venus passes in front of this flare and it had it been an actual lens artifact it would have drowned it out Venus. This is a true glare. You can see it, the light refracting off the center glare. But look how bright it is. It's coming from something. It's coming from a light source. And this is a light source. This is the second flash you did not see in the first video. Be careful. This is alarming. Here you have a, a massive explosion. This is the second flash. This is what NASA does not want you to see. These are the heavier elements in the star igniting. The star expands because heavier elements burn hotter. At the point of original impact, that's the part that vaporized first. Those materials having vaporized then recollapse. And that's why you see a dark hole here. But the recollapse causes a shock wave, and as you see, the star around it gets even brighter again. It's pulsating as a shock wave after shock wave resounds through the star. You have this collapsing and reignition that's happening. Here are the shock waves right here. You can see them. We're going to go through this at a little faster pace now. So you can see a more accurate time lapse. The solar flare, the top portion is reflecting light back at you, which means it's not an artifact. Venus is, can be seen in front of the flare. The bright flash and a huge explosion. The impact was below the equator. It was kind of at an upward motion, and that's why the star distorts upwards, and you have a bulge above the equator that's the material being pushed in that direction. Notice how the star still gets brighter as, as this part collapses. That's due to the shock wave of the collapsing portion of the star. So much like a sunspot, the light dissipates from this area. The shock waves are now visible. Venus is passing to the left. And now You've seen it all. What you need to look at is how the aperture stays dark. And the reason it stays dark is because the light hitting the aperture is keeping it shut. This increased luminosity cannot be a flare or glare or anything like that of an artifact. All artifacts lose luminosity. Look at the left hand side of your screen. Those are flares coming in from the left. Notice how they are scattering.
as the luminosity decreases you can then see the successive shock waves as they pulsate outwards look at the this is artifact this is see these two circles this is what people were trying to get you to believe you were seeing notice how there's a, a negative and a positive one side is bright but not as bright as his origins of the flare you have a flare on the upper left hand screen it's scattered these are not these are artifacts they're easy to discern and tell the difference here's another light flash off to the left this is another glare look how it scatters it does not increase luminosity it dissipates it so ask yourself this what the heck is a star-like object doing so close to our solar system why hasn't anybody told us about it and what are you going to do about it?